everyone, Vincent here for Slash Gear. Let's go ahead and boot up Windows 8 on this tablet. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi. So Windows 8 boots up in less than 10 seconds. So this is a star screen. You can customize it however you want. You get the time, day, month. You get your uh, battery signal and how much battery you have left. It reminds me of Windows Phone a little bit. So, you know, as we go through, you'll see some similarities. Because Windows 8 is built on top of Windows 7 with the best of features that you get in 7 and a combination of, I would say, the uh, tile-like, what Microsoft call Metro-style UI. So let's flick up from my login screen. Give me just a second to log in here. And by the way, this is the keyboard. You get a split keyboard or you get this full size keyboard. And if you want it to, you can also sign in, but not in this mode. So let's go ahead and type in my password. Um, cover your eyes for just a second. Okay, hope I typed it correctly. And it's logged me in. So this is that Metro style UI that I was talking about that Microsoft wants you to get your apps right there without having to search for your apps, games, or whatnot. So for example, if I wanted to see all the news that uh, I'm subscribed to, in this case, I have Slash Gear. I can load more. Uh, let's see, uh, I wanna see an article on Apple Mac to sell record 4.5 million units. So in this case, everything is just right there. There are no Chrome uh, bar, scroll bar, nothing. It's just right there if you wanna scroll left, right, for more articles, see how quickly everything just grows back and forth. And let's say if I wanted to rotate it, pick this up. Let's see here, I think there's a lock screen. There we go. You can see how I can rotate portrait and landscape, dock it back in. And so how do I get back to uh, my apps? Easy. You can do a number of things. You can press this one single button on the device. You can see it right there. Or you can flick left and there are these one, two, three, four, five charms. Search, share, start device settings. So I'm gonna hit start, it takes me back to my my uh, start screen and I can flick through, I can group these, I can move apps around, I can basically uh, however I want to customize my start screen, uh, it's possible. And so let's say I am reading this uh, article, but what if I want to be uh, a little bit more productive now that's open and uh, say I'm traveling and I want to keep the weather, you know, right there so I know how, what it's like, if I need, you know, what I'm going to pack and whatnot. I can pull this out from the left hand side. You see what I'm doing there? Place that there and I can extend this. The weather is still there, it hasn't gone anywhere. I can flick it back and forth. I can still enjoy everything that I'm doing here. Or let's say I wanna browse the web. See how my the weather is still here. Now, what if I wanted the news instead of the weather? Now that's kinda cool. See how everything just form, reformats uh, neatly. 
So now if I wanted to, I can gesture up, type in, uh, and well, I've already visited Slash Gear, so let's go ahead and click on Slash Gear. As you can see, my IE10 loads up. I can zoom in, zoom out. Let's see, click on the review. You see how these icons come up as I need them? And anytime I need the charms, I can pull them out. They're all here, date, time, and whatnot. Everything just runs very smooth. I can flick back and forth, bring new apps in. When I get tired of the dates, I don't want them anymore, I flick it over. Same thing here, I can pick up the tablet and look at it in portrait mode. And it works the same. I can redock it. And so search, I can search basically any app I want. And here is a list of all my apps that is currently available to me. And there's even a task manager, which brings up this classic Windows 7 UI. And from here, you can do a number of things. You can either browse the web, move this around. And if you need to um, touch something with a fine pinpoint precision, you can use this stylus and it's active. You see how it senses the stylus? Kind of cool. Close that. Same here. You can either type or write. In this case, you know, you can do that. So if I'm here, what if I want to get back to my home screen or apps that I have open? Same concept. Same concept. Works really nicely. Or you can press this home button. And it'll take you back home. So any apps that you have can be used to pin to the live tiles. So in this case, all these apps here, you can pin to the live tiles by pressing and holding, but in this case, um, I don't think I'm doing that right. And you can move it around, press and hold. Oh, hold on a second, press. Okay, that's not working. Okay, there we go. And I logged in to uh, my Twitter account earlier. Kind of cool. Home. Keep in mind these apps are all running simultaneously. So if I want to keep track of my all the tweets, I can do that while, let's say I want to keep an eye on the news while keeping tabs on my on tweets. See that's kind of cool. All your settings, these are your quick settings. You can let's say go back, control panels. You have personalized user, wireless notification, search, general, you get the picture. Build sessions. Uh, let's see, if you want to do notes, you can do that as well. Where was that 
app that I was playing with. This is your ink pad. I believe you use your stylus for that. Kind of cool. It's pretty precise. Options, swipe up for options. You can see the UI is very consistent across the board. And that is it for this quick walkthrough of Windows 8. Uh, make sure to check Slash Gear for my full hands-on. And uh, thanks for watching.